to my YouTube channel. So today, as you can probably tell, I'm somewhere slightly different today. And that is basically because we have just arrived after about a four, five hour drive. We've basically arrived at Devon. This is basically where we're staying for the week, or say for the week, literally Tuesday to Friday. So if you can hear anything in the background, it's literally just so raining as we have got here. It's been a like shower on and off today, so hopefully it doesn't go on too long but yeah i'll quickly show you around and then let's crack on with the vlog these are basically just like a little patio area where you can kind of sit out if it isn't obviously raining and then as you kind of come around this is just like a fire and a tv and kind of just like a sofa kind of area and then we have just obviously got a table and a chair and then there is the kitchen with james just looking into our kind of welcome pack and then as you come through this way in this door here there is basically just a spare bedroom just because i mean we don't need both bedrooms and then as you come down here i don't know what's in this one. Oh, there is another little bedroom i don't realize we had this many i mean there's another little one and then as you come down here this is basically just where me and james will kind of be in and here there's another little window adjust here and then there is obviously a nice little mirror bit that you can see my bump in and then there is just basically some storage uh, i'm not sure what's in here in here there's just a little toilet and then as you come out this way i think the main bathroom bit is kind of down here in this side james has basically already been for a wee and then there is also a shower that side as well which is really kind of useful so yeah that is basically where we are going to be staying for the next few days obviously we're probably not going to go anywhere until this kind of shower just ends um but i'll show you around i don't really know how much i'm going to vlog on this break if i'm honest with you but i mean i will show you as much as we kind of can so yeah i hope you enjoy our little breakaway or our little staycation in the UK. I mean, you definitely can't hear this, but we've just come for a little stroll along the beach. It's actually, I know the sky looks really cloudy, but it's not actually too bad right now. But yeah, this is the current view. So it is actually quite a few hours later now, and as you can probably tell from the background, James has just got the chase on. But as you can tell, I have actually got changed right about now. So basically, it is a little bit later in the evening now. It's basically half five-ish. No, it's later than that. It's about quarter to six, and our table for dinner is booked at quarter up past six. But we're going to try and get there for about six and see if we can get in a little bit early, because by the time we order, it's just going to, you know... Just a bit hungry today, as soon as we was up at that absolute crack of dawn. But today I've basically just gone this Zara blazer, which still fits me from my pre-pregnancy days. I was oversized at the time, but I mean, not that really matters. And then I have just got a maternity grey t-shirt on, and then some maternity kind of blue jeans. I am just going to pop some trainers on with it tonight, really kind of casual. But I mean, that's just basically what I'm going to go in with, coming with. So excuse any kind of message you saw in the background. But after this clip, I'll literally show you a clip of the dinner that we do actually get. And then after dinner tonight, we are actually going to like some entertainment type thing that is on the kind of place that we are actually staying. Um, but I probably won't film in there if I'm honest with you. So you'll probably just see like a little clip of my dinner and then that'll probably be it until tomorrow. But I mean, yeah, that is the latest and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. And this is dinner. I obviously just got burger and chips and a bit of ketchup. That was our starters. We just got nachos and side of chips. And then James has basically got a mixed grill going on at the moment. So it is another day down in Devon. And let me quickly show you the sea because the sun is shining today. So there's the sea, as you can probably see. And yeah, quite a nice day out today it's actually sunny for once which is a change so yeah so that is basically what today is looking like it looks really sunny and lovely and it's actually really warm coming through the window but today we are basically going to i think it's called eczema or somewhere like that it's basically like the nearest town to us and there's going to be like a harbour and stuff like that there so yeah that's where we're going to be going today i'll bring you along i don't really know what else is there apart from that but i mean we shall go along and find out so yeah that is where we're going we'll probably have some lunch while we're there just because i mean why not so i mean yeah it's about half nine at the moment but i mean yeah we're about to leave and i'll bring you along with us so we have arrived at Exmouth, and we've just come for a little walk from where we parked the car and we're currently at the marina this is 
basically what it kind of looks like there's a few like restaurants and places like all kind of dotted around underneath it like there's a restaurant literally just here i think this one's called the point yeah the point so we shall see but this is our current view sorry if you can hear the wind i am obviously back at the car at the moment james has just gone for a wee and to go and check the cricket that is playing right next to the car but basically it's only five past twelve at the moment we haven't actually eaten since i spoke to you but i feel like i only showed you like a few clips of the sea and then i obviously showed you the um like the harbour bit um but basically we've been trying to find somewhere that is gluten-free like a place to eat you're right you're gonna come in and Honestly, it's been a bit of a nightmare to find somewhere. Oh, sorry, there's a car that's parked right close to us. But basically, we've been trying to find somewhere for ages to eat, and it's just it's just not really happening, is it? <laughs> so we're not sure where we're going to go for lunch. Basically, we found somewhere that was gluten free. We knew it was gluten free because we found it online before we came. But we tried to book it before we came, and it said it said they didn't have any availability. But a lot of places that said that there was avail or had no availability have had availability when we've actually got there. Um, so we turned up anyway because we thought there's got to be more than just like one place to be able to eat. But apparently it's been booked up for ages since it was announced. And obviously we only booked to come here like a super last minute thing. So we had no chance of getting booked in anyway. Um, so we're not sure what we're going to do for lunch yet. We were debating do we go back to where we're staying. Um, because there is a restaurant there that does do gluten free food but then we were going to go there for dinner tonight so we're like there's not an awful lot of choice it's like do we either go there for lunch and then dinner and just kind of have the same thing or do we try and find somewhere else then we found a, another pub that was like a 10 minute drive away but their kitchen is shut today so we can't go there so we are just currently debating on where we go for lunch really so I mean yeah I'll update you when we actually find somewhere or we decide what to do but we're just sitting in the car at the moment we've still got two hours on our ticket um but there's not really anywhere to be able to eat around here so that is the latest i'll keep you up to date as to where we actually managed to eat but it's just because we booked to come here like as a last minute decision and literally everywhere's been booked up for months in advance so that is a little bit of a nightmare really but i mean we didn't really think that when we booked it last minute that we'd have trouble eating um but yeah that that is the reality and the latest right now so yeah, i'll update you when we actually find somewhere that has availability and it is gluten free which i mean few and far between i imagine but again that is the latest so we have actually had lunch now as you had probably or could have probably have told tell you can probably tell we've basically had lunch is what i'm trying to say and we have just come back to the caravan because i just went a little wee and i'll just i don't know i just wanted to drop some bits off so we have actually come back but james is just quickly going for a wee himself and then once he has been for a wee i don't really know why i'm sitting back down again because once james has been for a wee we're basically gonna go out and play mini golf which i mean i'm not gonna take my camera with me for i mean if you follow me on instagram then you would have probably seen a little bit of a highlight of that or something like that over there just because i'm just going to take my phone and leave my camera here just because otherwise there's just too many things to kind of carry really and it's just a little bit unnecessary but yeah we did that we did actually try and book the place that we went to for lunch day we tried to book that for dinner tonight as well just so that it was all sorted and we thought we'd be really organized so we weren't have like the same kind of drama but unfortunately they're fully booked for dinner tonight as well they've been booked up for a couple of days unfortunately which is bit annoying since we only arrived yesterday and nobody like said to us when we arrived that we need to like pre-book things this in advance um but i mean it's just one of them things and i suppose we booked monday to friday and we didn't turn up until tuesday because james couldn't get monday off work so i mean it's just a little it's just one of them things and i don't know where we're gonna eat tonight there is one other restaurant that we're gonna go and try and book after we've played mini golf but i mean god knows if they're gonna have any reservations left or not and I mean, if they don't, then we really have no idea what we're going to do for dinner tonight. Because there's not even like a McDonald's or like somewhere like fast foodish near. So I mean, we're not sure what we're going to do. We're going to have to drive like half hour away, which to like the other side of the town, um, which isn't obviously the nearest. It's obviously past that, um, just to try and find somewhere. If not, so fingers crossed this place that we are going to go and look at after we have played mini golf does actually have a reservation otherwise like i said god knows what we are going to do but the problem is 
that we had a look before we came to try and see if we could book any of these things um like all of like the on-site restaurants and stuff but you can't book them before you get here which is a little bit annoying just because we didn't want to have this issue so i mean we've turned up and fortunately everywhere does seem to be fully booked so we can go and play mini golf just because I mean, it's, it's still sunny out um and then yeah we'll see if we can get anywhere for dinner but i will update you on that so it is basically another day and i feel like the last clip that you probably saw was me saying that we was going to go and play mini golf let me just sit down for a second but basically we did go and play mini golf yesterday and it was a draw we both got exactly the same points didn't we james mm -hmm. honestly so thrilled about that today but yeah and then after that we literally went and booked a restaurant for dinner which was a little bit of a disappointment but i mean that's just one of them things it wasn't really a lot that or a lot of choice that they had and anyway today is a new day and it is chucking it down and when i say chucking it down like literally i don't really know if you can see the sky is very gray and it's just not really loving its life i'm honest with you we are thinking of maybe venturing into a town that is about 15 minutes away from here just for like something to do because i mean we don't really want to sit in here all day so i mean we're gonna go there and see what that is about we have actually made some lunch to take ourselves with us today um just so that obviously we've got something to eat if we can't find it anywhere which i mean we can probably just eat in the car because i mean the town that we're going to is obviously just further along the coast so it's like a seaside town type of thing so obviously it's going to be probably exactly the same weather so i mean we'll go for a little walk around and then we'll just probably eat lunch at the car before we just come back i suppose and just because we can't obviously walk along the beach or anything like that in this weather but i mean i suppose it's just one of them things you can't guarantee that you are going to get good weather when you come away in the uk i mean we couldn't go abroad this week so i mean we're just going we just thought we'd still get away really so yeah that is the latest we have actually booked a restaurant for tonight as well um, um, we managed to get a restaurant that kind of overlooks the bay um so we're gonna go there they do have a couple of gluten-free options which is all good so i'll bring them along there tonight hopefully the weather would have calmed down a little bit by then but it's gonna rain continuously until 3 p.m so I mean, it's definitely not the best but i mean yeah we're about to kind of head out now so yeah i'll bring you along and show you but i mean i don't really know how much you're gonna be able to see just because obviously i don't want to ruin my camera in this rain either and um, but yeah that is the latest so we have just arrived james is literally just in the queue to get a ticket for us to put in the car but basically we are or we have just arrived at a place called sidmouth which is in devon as you probably all know um but yeah so once james has got the ticket we'll just obviously pop it up and then just have a little look around it's still raining um so i don't really know how long we're going to be here from honest with you um but we thought we'd come still come out anyway just save sitting in or kind of sitting on the kind of site place all day um so yeah this is where we're currently at and i'll show you some little clips as the day kind of goes on So as you can probably tell, you can be in it with your mask half on, but as you can Stop probably me. tell, it is still chucking it down the side of my hair. I look like a drowned rat, but I mean, that doesn't really matter right now. My hair is no longer straight, but basically James proposed. And honestly, how sparkly is that? But yeah, it's honestly, it was so cute. That little clip that you saw beforehand when we was down by the seafront is basically where he did it. And it was honestly like, gal balls with. rain. <laughs> but it was so cute. So yeah, I'm engaged. Honestly, I can't believe it, but it's so, so sparkly. But yeah, so we're gonna head back now. We literally, right after there, we just went for a little celebratory. I had a soya hot chocolate and James just had a- Cup of tea cup of tea and he also got like a um brownie a brownie yeah a belgian brownie um so yeah so we're not gonna eat here we're gonna go back dry off because honestly we're soaked through to the bones and my coat didn't do up at all because of my belly so i mean it's all like wet on the inside where the wind was like blowing open um so yeah we're gonna go back and have a little celebratory i was gonna say bacon sandwich but you've got bacon i've just got normal ham <laughs> so yeah we'll go back and eat those and then we'll dry off and see what the afternoon holds how exciting guys honestly i cannot believe it how cute though 
So we have got back. If I actually turn this down, otherwise all you're going to be able to hear is the chase in the background. Two seconds. There's the volume on this. So yeah. So as you can probably hear outside, it is actually still quite windy. It's not raining anymore, which is good though. It's just very like overcast and just not all of that kind of pleasant now i suppose but we have actually got back now obviously we are still sharing the kind of laugh and just really kind of over the moment really so we have um spoke to a few people and um, we can't actually get like a signal in the, this caravan at the moment so we have decided to go and get ready early tonight and then obviously just drive down there just so we can find kind of signal just to kind of let all our friends and family know before we put it on social media just because i mean i don't know i feel like it's the right thing to do to let all like our family and friends know before we kind of just track it online um but before we kind of spread the good news online um but yeah so that is the latest i literally just feel like whatever i'm doing on that just literally just showing it off just to james who obviously knows what it looks like this one that gave it to me um, but yeah it's still really really exciting can't believe it really and yeah so that is basically what's going to happen i already know what i'm going to have for this night i'm going to have chicken wings and chips i'm being really really random but i know they do it down there and i mean that's just really what i fancy which i mean does anyone else do that like they know what they're going to order before they go to the restaurant and they've even looked at the menu type of thing like is it a girl thing i don't know but that is basically what i'm going to order tonight and then obviously i'm just going to have lemonade or something like that because um obviously i'm not gonna have anything alcoholic because obviously i am pregnant but yeah that is the latest obviously super super exciting like we've got so much to kind of sort out and organize and stuff like that when we get back um but so excited and cannot believe it so yeah that is the latest i'm not going to bring my camera up with me tonight i'm just going to film like the food clips and that on my phone um just to kind of show you just because i mean my camera is quite heavy it's not heavy heavy but you know what i mean like i don't need to lug it around to show you the clips on my phone i'm sure you're gonna understand that we're obviously on a holiday as well as i am filming this but that is the latest and yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog and actually oh my god i literally started talking into one of my chicken fries before i started to let you know what i ordered but basically i got chicken wings chicken fries chicken wings and chips and Thank then and then James actually got a fish pie, some garlic bread, these are my chips. So she got another cellar, and then some veggies. But this is basically the restaurant that we are in. It's literally so pretty in here. And then out there is obviously just like the thing from there. But yeah, this is our dinner at the moment. So it is actually the next day now, and as you can probably tell, I have just got a tracksuit on. James is literally just plugging the cases through. But obviously today is the day that we go home. We have to be checked out of here by like 10 a.m. I think. But if we're gonna go more towards nine, just because I mean there's no point hanging around for another hour. And obviously we've got like a four-ish hour depends on traffic really, doesn't it? Um drive back towards London. So yeah, it has been obviously been a really really good trip obviously i'll answer any other questions or anything like that um but if you do have any other future suggestions for the future i mean i don't really know how much is in this clip but we have just tried to like like obviously just like relax and stuff while we've been here um so i hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless if you have then please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and i mean if you are new here then hi i'm katie i probably should have said that at the beginning but make sure you subscribe and turn the bell notification button on so that you're the first to be notified as to whenever i upload next but that is basically all for today guys so until next time see ya